हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज शर्मिष्ठा एंड दिस इज इंग्लिश विद शर्मिष्ठा आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम एंड इट्स रियली नेसेसरी दैट वी शुड स्पेंड आवर टाइम डूइंग यूजफुल थिंग्स ऑल दो वी नो दिस वी ऑफन वेस्ट आवर टाइम डूइंग यूजलेस एक्टिविटीज वेल आई एम अ काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु यूजअली डजेंट वेस्ट टाइम बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट अनयूजल थिंग्स नेवर हैपन आई मीन टू से दैट समटाइम्स यू मे फाइंड मी वेस्टिंग माई टाइम I might be wasting my time sometimes but I try not to waste the things whenever I find something that I have and that is left disused for some time I try to put it to some use or give it to someone who can use it it might be a pair of earrings a purse or something like that but sometimes I find people misusing things like misusing the gadgets they have or misusing the powerful positions that they hold I don't like it. I think many people don't like it either. And things are often left disused because they are not user friendly. But often user friendly things are overused. Like in my case, a pair of good old sneakers. On the other hand, occasional wear high heels remain underused in my case. So the usage of a thing depends on a user. And each and every person in my opinion is unique as a user. You might be wondering by now why I have been talking about using time and using things. Just because I had the idea of using the word use in various ways. I hope you must have noticed that I used useful, useless, usually, unusual, disuse, misuse, use, overuse, underuse, usage user friendly and user you must have noticed how the english language works how you can use full and less at the end of use to form adjectives like useful and useless you can add ual in the end by removing the e and form the word like usual which means like always and add un in the beginning forming unusual which means a thing that doesn't always happen you can add dis mis over and under in the beginning to express various meanings so this was to give you an idea of how the english language works and you can understand all of this if you keep your eyes and ears open you can play with words then form new words and then form new sentences with those words and then use the sentences in your real life you can broaden your horizon of the knowledge of english by doing so so that was all i wanted to say today i hope you will find it useful and i hope you liked it if you liked my video do like it and share it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe to it for more such useful videos and keep reading a lot listening a lot and do take a very good care of yourself till i come with my next video bye for today